Now let's talk about image formation by refraction. So the interface between two transparent materials, we're going to discuss the fact that it can form an image. Just like a mirror forms an image, the interface between two transparent materials can also form an image of an object. So here we have a medium number one at the bottom. We're going to put an observer in medium number one. And this observer is going to be looking at the light that is coming from a say a fly in medium number two let's say that it's uh, it's air so we're going to place the object here in medium number two and we're going to have the observer in medium number one let's take a look at one light ray that comes from that fly hits the surface of the water and gets refracted so since the uh, water has a bigger index of refraction than air, we know that that light ray is going to bend towards the normal. And therefore, it's going to be, for the observer, this light ray is going to seem to be coming from that direction that I just showed you there, from this direction. And if we look at another light ray and consider the refraction that happens on the surface of the water, we'll notice that again, for the observer, that light ray seems to be coming from a different direction. Notice how the light ray bends closer to the normal, which makes the, if you backtrace this light ray, you notice that it goes above what uh, I'm drawing here, the fly, and those light rays cross up there. So you can keep doing this for several light rays and you'll notice that the um, behavior is the same. The light rays in all of these cases seem to be coming from a common point. So for this observer, there is, uh, or what this observer is going to see is actually the fly, the image of the fly. The fly is going to seem to be located at the location of the image here. So the real fly is emitting these light rays that we consider, but when those light rays come through the surface, uh, go into the water, they get bent in such a way that they seem to be coming from a different point. So we say that this observer is going to see the image of the fly at a location different from where the actual fly is. The distance to the actual fly, we're going to call it SO or distance to the object. The distance to the image of the fly, we're going to call it S sub i. And uh, if you look at the discussion in your textbook, you'll find that in your textbook they, use, uh, they derive an equation for this situation that looks like this. And uh, I'm not going to discuss how to derive that equation. It's not very difficult, but it would take a, a little bit of time. And uh, also, I'm going to rewrite this equation in a way that is uh, easier for you to handle. So the way I'm going to write this equation is the following. n sub i times s sub i equals n sub naught times s sub naught. What these symbols here means is n sub naught is the index of refraction of the medium where the observer is. In this case, in my example with the person underwater and the fly above the water, n o would be the index of refraction of water. s sub o is going to be, or sub naught, is going to be the distance to the object. The o in this case stands for object. So the distance to the object that we indicated in the picture already, so that's S sub O. S sub I is going to mean the distance to the image, the image of the fly. And N sub I is going to denote the index of refraction of the medium where the image is. So in these um, situations, we have an object and we have an image and n sub i ref uh, refers to the index of refraction of the medium where the image is. All right, so this equation is going to help us find or describe the phenomenon of image formation due to a flat interface between two transparent materials. So let's apply this equation for a specific scenario. So here we have a fisherman and who has a spear and he's trying to catch that fish underwater. So the fisherman is in a medium which is air and the fish is in a medium that is water. So what the fisherman is seeing, of course, is the image of the fish. The fisherman captures uh, light rays in his eyes 
the fisherman is going to capture libraries that are going to seem to be coming from a particular location. This is where the fisherman sees the fish. The distance to the image is therefore the one indicated there, S sub i. In this case, the object, uh, sorry, not the object, the observer, N sub o is the index over fraction of the observer, the medium in which the observer is. So the observer in this case is the fisherman. The fisherman is in the air, so it's the N of the air, which you know is uh, very close to one. In this example, the image of the fish is located in the water, underwater, so it's N of water, which is 1.33. The equation that I just uh, showed you before says NO times SO equals NI times SI. So if we replace the numbers, NO is 1, SO is the distance to the object, so the actual fish is going to be somewhere underwater. We're going to figure out where. And on the right hand side we have NI, which is 1.33, and SI, which is the distance indicated in the picture. So notice that when we solve for SO, the distance at which we find the actual fish, we find that this distance is 1.33 times SI. So the actual fish is at a distance from the surface bigger than SI. So we can draw that and see that the fish is actually underneath its image. So the fisherman is going to uh, think that the fish is at the location of the image, but in reality, or if for a successful fisherman, the spear has to be uh, pointed at a location below the act, the location of the or below where the image of the fish is. If you think that the fish is at a certain depth, you have to aim below that depth if you want to catch the fish. So aim further away from the surface. That's where the actual fish is going to be. So in general, you can say that objects underwater appear. That means the location of the image. They appear closer to the surface. The image appears closer to the surface than the actual object is. Now let's take a look at the similar situation, a hunter, but in this case, what is hunting, or the, the um, what we have is a, it's called an archer fish. This is an actual species of fish that uh, hunts by shooting water at flying insects above the surface of the water. So the archer fish shoots water, the water hits the insect, the insects the insect falls on the surface of the water and the archer fish swims there and eats the, the insect. So that's how this, this little fish uh, hunt. So, so let's take a look at what, uh, what should be the case for the archer fish from the point of view of the archer fish. So the archer fish is going to see a fly. So the image of the fly is going to be located at a certain distance above the water. And what we're trying to figure out here is where is the actual fly? Is it uh, the distance to the object? Is it bigger or smaller than the distance to the image? So the equation, same as before. But in this case, the object is the, uh, not the object again, the observer. In this case, the observer is the archer fish. So this is the index of refraction of the medium in which the fish lives. So that's water. That is 1.33. So in our equation for NO, we replace 1.33 times SO, distance to the object, equals the, uh, in this case, the image of the fly is going to be forming the air. So N sub I is uh, the index of refraction of air, which is one. So we replace one times S sub I, the distance to the image that we can see in the picture. So now we're solving for SO, the distance to the object. The object here is going to be the actual fly. So SO is equal to 1 over 1.33 times SI, which tells you that the distance to the object is less than the distance to the image. That's where the image of the, of the fly is. This is where the actual fly is. SO is less than SI. 
So the archerfish sees the fly in this direction, but it is actually going to aim in this direction because the archerfish knows that the actual fly is below that. That's how they make a living. So they figure out this a long time ago. So if you're underwater and you want to catch, uh, catch something that is above the water, you have to aim to a point closer to the surface than you think the object is. All right, I'm going to leave it there. See you in the next video.